front where it says Ames real big. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back out to Plum PA. I'm back out here thanks to you guys for pointing out this Wendy's here. And, you know, when I was out here last time doing the sheets and the Burger King, I stopped by the new sheets, which is actually directly behind me. Uh, this is the replacement for the one up the street that I filmed. Uh, I never once saw the Wendy's here. Just wasn't focused on anything but seeing this new sheet, stopping there, getting gas, and then heading back out towards Monroeville. Uh, I never once saw it. Just missed it. So I'm glad uh, that you guys were able to point that out for me so I could check it out. Thank you. And I'm out here to see this place. It closed roughly about seven months ago, if I'm not mistaken. has a solarium. It's a Dave Thomas era Wendy's. Um, just sitting here. Excellent condition. Signs all taken down. I guess they just didn't want to update it or renovate it. But uh, that or... They opened up a new location somewhere that I'm just not aware of, but Wendy seems to be closing down more restaurants than opening them these days. I know they are building new ones and renovating them, uh, older ones anyway, but I feel like they close down more restaurants than they're opening, kind of like Burger King is, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm out here and I want to check it out and see how this place looks. And share it with you guys and then I'll show you the brand new sheets directly behind me there is the Wendy's sunroom and all looking pretty good solarium's awesome look at that carpeting in there <laughs> holy cow Retro. I like it. I like it. That's cool. And look at that solarium. That's really cool. Let's take a look over here through these windows. Looks like a couple of them might have been replaced. I don't really know. Because they have dimensions on them. They don't really look. I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> inside of this looks awesome I, I mean they took everything out of there but the carpeting is cool that doesn't scream 90s yeah the dimensions are, are on a few of these windows unless they're trying to get them for a potential buyer yeah look at that front counter that was the type of wendy's i grew up with that i'm also familiar with paper advertisements in those windows there towards the left center of the screen where the condiment stand would be. The color of the tile on the floor. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they took measurements probably to sell this place. Oh, they, they took the Wendy's things off of the wall there. I'm sure that said Wendy's. And they got rid of every sign of that gone can't say I'm surprised though now we can see right into the restaurant there into the kitchen uh, somebody left some skid marks there on the floor <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't resist oh uh, I know that was disgusting but yeah well welcome to the channel in 2024 where I basically have no filter well I try to because we have kids here I tried to say that the nice way, I guess. And I mean, no pun intended, but the restroom is right here. Both of them. It's like somebody had a leak. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so messed up. Handicap parking up here. It looks like the paint's brand new in here. Actually, yeah. Looks like they might have sealed this parking lot not too long ago and they painted it recently. And they closed it seven months ago? Weird, unless they did this for a potential buyer. There's your signless sign. And that's why I didn't see it, because of how small it is. Hey, look, another G5. The signless sign is small. And then there's your brand new sheets right across the street to replace the one just up the road. 
that closed down and now I saw a cherry picker in there so I don't know if they're gonna be removing the signs or not oh look a quarter check that out that's a shiny new one too I haven't seen that quarter before huh. all right that'll be good for the parking meters <laughs> I like to keep quarters in the car for parking meters. If I didn't pick it up, somebody else would. Believe it or not, some places still do use parking meters that take change instead of cards. There's your garbage area. I don't think there's anything in here, just empty bottles of alcohol. Lots of them. No, nothing in there. Oh, check out the little drive through sign here. I didn't even notice this one before. The little guy right here. Hm. Alright, let's continue on. They didn't do the lines in the drive through here. Where was the order screen? Oh, I guess it was right there. Right there in that open area. You come around here, you've got a block down double window yeah this looks like this is relatively new the seal job on here Google pay Apple pay imagine using that for Wendy's I mean I get it people do I guess I'm just old school I don't do any of that I just use a debit card or cash I don't like putting my card on my phone for anything I mean for online purchases okay fine but everything goes through PayPal usually Or if I'm sending money to friends, that's a little different. I'm very picky on that and keep security very high on that because I don't trust it. And that's the other thing when people try to scam people on PayPal. I always get an email anyway, so it never works. They'll always send you something to say, hey, this is a scam. Or if it doesn't look right, let us know. And usually you can tell by the email sent to you if it was real or not. That inside is cool. I wonder what they'll do with it. When a business, I love the I love the fact that this has tons of windows around it too. But that solarium is I like that. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Dining room hours, 10 a.m. to nothing. <laughs> well. Nice with the sun starting to set too. Love that view. Oop, almost fell on my flip-flop. <laughs> caught the ground look at this little entrance sign here under the tree there's another one here there's a robin and there it is and you know it's I guess it's kind of weird I don't know I, I, I maybe this is just me I feel kind of weird filming a Wendy's, something that's not healthy for you, on the day that Richard Simmons passed away. Rest in peace to a legend. As goofy and silly as that man was, he just wanted you to be healthy and put a smile on your face. And Dave Thomas did too. And make people like me fat. <laughs> Oh, well, I suppose that'll be a wrap. Yeah, that'll be a wrap. Boy, is that hot out there still. It's still in the mid-90s. Yeah, 95 is the temperature that it read when I pulled into the parking lot. It still says 95. And the humidity, it's up there, but it's not terrible today. It was rough this week with barrel coming through. That's the second time in my life I've been affected by hurricane barrel or tropical storm or whatever. I was affected by barrel in 2012, 
on North Carolina's Outer Banks. It brushed right through the Outer Banks real quick uh, in early June of that year, late May, early June of that year, and dumped a ton of rain on the Outer Banks and left a lot of coastal flooding, especially on Highway 12, the Beach Road, etc. for the last part of the trip. I mean, you still, you, we were still able to get all around. It wasn't a big deal, but uh, some roads were impassable, especially when I had the Sebring convertible back then. Man, I miss that car. I do, but I don't. <laughs> and this car is going to hate me here if I don't get gas in it. So I'm going to go over to Sheets and put fuel in the B and call it a day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. You can get alerted for more content. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Take care and stay awesome. Have a great day. Bye-bye.